it's your girl, Hippie Chick, and I'm here to do a video all about this new moon in Pisces. It is happening on March 2nd, 2022, um, at about 10 or 12.34 Eastern Time, PM, that's going to be during the daytime, but the new moon and full moon energies always last for a couple of days before and after, so, and in fact, actually manifesting is going to be more efficient and uh, kind of better quality timing wise if you wait until after the actual day of the new moon. Once the moon is starting to build, our manifestations are starting to grow, the, the seeds that we planted are starting to grow. Uh, figuratively or literally, it would be a great time to start a garden for sure. So. Um, yeah, so basically Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. It is also a mutable sign, which means that it is very, uh, it's one of the four adaptable signs that are prone to change and that actually do very well with change. Um, Pisces also is the oldest sign on the zodiac. So it is um, technically the astrological new year will be uh, when we hit Aries season at the end of Pisces season. So, yeah, um, think of it like New Year's, baby. Like, this is it. Like, this is time to, uh, this is the culmination, you know? Um, Pisces rules, uh, Pisces is ruled by the planet Neptune, but it also was originally ruled by the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is transiting Pisces right now. Um, and Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion. Wherever Jupiter is, is it is expanding. Things are growing. Things are getting huge. So um, definitely something to check out. If you guys want to know what house, about the houses, where Jupiter is, and for you, your actual chart, where it, what, which house it's in for you, um, just comment down below. And uh, if you want to really dive deep, then definitely um, shoot me an email. All of my contact info is linked down below, and um, we can dive deeper and do like an actual natal chart reading. Speaking of which, I do daily content on. TikTok and Instagram, so definitely give me a follow over there. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do. Um, I super appreciate all of you, and you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I love making content for you guys, and and I love learning and growing, and I welcome you to my hippie fam. So, yeah, um, but back to Pisces. So, Pisces... Uh, rules psychic abilities. It rules uh, intuition. Pisces, Pisceans are very intuitive. They are often empaths. They can work in the line of healing, whether that is like uh, like a yoga teacher, a doctor, even um, all different things. Any way you can be a healer or a light worker. Tarot readers are often Pisces. Um, yeah, but Pisces are very, uh, it's very watery, very deep. It's a very deep vibe. They're very in touch with their emotions. A lot of people say Pisces can be overly emotional. They're very just sensitive. They pick up on energies and a lot of different things naturally. Um, and so, yeah, they can just be more aware of the different energies going on. It can be a lot. So sometimes Pisces can be more introverted, um, just to recoup their energy, to pour back into their own cup and then, you know, go back and hit the streets. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but basically, um, I want to give you guys a little information about the new moon and then we're going to hop into a quick ritual that you guys can do. Um, also, I'll link it down below, but there is a water ritual I did on the Cancer New Moon uh, last year, and that would be a great ritual to do on the new moon. In fact, any of the rituals, really, but if you want to be, like, in the Pisces vibe, then um, definitely I love manifesting with water, so I would definitely check that out. Um, the ritual that I'm going to tell you guys about at the end of the video is also going to be a water ritual. 
Um, so yeah, but basically, um, Pisces also rules dreams. So if you're having a lot of crazy dreams right now, Pisces rule escapism. So if you're feeling the want or need to do drugs or to drink or to escape into any addiction, shopping, working out, um, Pisces are definitely the escape artist. If you're wanting to just run away, go visit, like go vacation or go like wherever, just not where you're at. You're like, I'm done with this town for it this second. Um, that's a very Piscean thing to do. Um, Pisces also rule sex. So Scorpio rules the sex organs and the actual act of sex. And Pisces rule sexual healing. Pisceans heal people with their sex. Um, it is uh, everything that Pisces do, they do at a very deep level. Relationships and love, they love on a very deep level. They Everything Pisces does, they do it with 120,000%. And um, they're definitely, it can definitely be an all or nothing vibe. And when, they, when you get their all, you get everything and the kitchen sink. And so, yeah, very all or nothing, very, um, Pisces are very loyal. Um, Pisces can also get a bad rap because, um, they are the oldest sign of the Zodiac, so they have been all of the other Zodiac signs. They, um, which, you know, any, anyone in the world can operate out of their shadow energies or out of their light energies. It's best to find a balance between the two. Um, but yeah, if they definitely have the capacity and capability to be some crazy motherfuckers when they're operating out of their shadow energy, but that's anyone. Um, so yeah, but you know, Pisces are great. They are symbolized by the two fish swimming in opposite directions. All of the mutable signs are actually represented by, uh, they have like a duality. So with Sagittarius, it's the human half man, half horse, the centaur. With Pisces, it's the two fish in opposite directions. Gemini is represented by the twins. And Virgo uh, is represented by the virgin and the whore. So um, very, uh, there's very much a duality. There's very much a feeling like you're two people inside of one body, like, um, being able to see both sides of things. And there's definitely can be an indecisiveness going back and forth. Um, one day waking up and feeling this way with every fiber in their body and then the next day waking up or by the end of that day going to sleep and feeling the complete opposite. So, um, it can be tricky. Definitely an energy, um, not fickle, but definitely, um, capable of very extreme, um, a very extreme duality. That's for sure. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to hop over to the kitchen and we are going to do our water manifestation ritual. Welcome to my kitchen. So yeah, so new moon and Pisces, new moons are all about planting seeds, new beginnings, new projects, starting starting anything new um, or even restarting something that you you know, started and then got off track or got distracted, um, restarting, perfect for new moons. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to grab a glass of water. Um, the c more clean, the better. If all you have is tap water, do it, baby. Like, but, um, uh, the more high vibrational water, then the more high vibrational it's already going to be is how I feel. There's fluoride in tap water and all kinds of chemicals and hormones, and I'm not, that's a video for a whole nother day, but anyway, grab yourself a glass of water, okay, or you can grab like a bottle so it'll last you a little longer, you know, like whatever floats your boat. It's your ritual. I am just the guide. <laughs> so, um, but grab this glass of water and I want you to do this when you're grounded, when you are in a good state of mind. Don't do this when you're not because it can be, um, 
problematic just because if your vi if your energy is off, you're going to be putting that energy into the water and then when you're consuming this later, you might be in better energy at that time and you're putting lower vibrational energy into your body. So it's it's just not going to flow. So do it when you're grounded, do some breath work, do some yoga or take go for a walk, whatever, you know, however you listen to some music, however you get into your good vibe. Do that. Grab your glass of water. I want you to hold it and picture very pure white warm light going over your entire body in cleansing and purifying your energy and then I want you for like five or ten minutes however much time you have but ideally five or ten minutes hold your glass of water look at your water and speak all of your affirmations speak everything you want in this dream you have your dream life you could speak a million things or just one thing you want to focus on and speak it into existence, basically, but stare at your water while you're, while you're doing it. And then as soon as you're done, so speak everything you want into existence with your water. And then, like I said, too, if you do a bottle, you can save it for later and then pour it into... Um, you know, anything, and actually what I like to do too with my tea and coffee in the morning, anything that has water in, you can apply this to. Um, you can also add this to your goddess baths. I love doing that. Just a, a splash, a swig, whatever. Um, but yeah, and my coffee and tea in the morning, as long as you're looking at the water, sending the water or the tea or the coffee Hell, I bet you could do this with a beer. I mean, I'm not drinking right now because I am breastfeeding, but I, w um, I would be interested. One of you guys comment down below and let me know how that goes. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Happy full moon, new moon, excuse me. Happy new moon in Pisces. I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, moon, week, day, life, everything. Peace.